Welcome to Queer Conversation. In today's episode, you will meet Molly Hedden, the director of the feature film The Longest Weekend. The Longest Weekend will be screened at the annual Melbourne Queer Film Festival on the 17th of November. Welcome, Molly. Hi, thank you for having me. You, you're the director of your first feature film, The Longest Weekend, which will be screened in Melbourne on the 17th of November at the yes. Melbourne Queer Film Festival. Tell us what this film is about. Of course, so The Longest Weekend is um, a family drama um, about three adult siblings uh, trying to decide if they want to uh, get back in touch with their long absent father. Um, it's uh, set over four days, it's set over the October long weekend um, where the three of them all be end up back in the family home and uh, that's when their father uh, makes a reappearance into their lives. Um, so we've got two uh, sisters, Avery, uh, Lou is the middle and then Rio is um, the brother, the youngest sibling. Um, and then we have uh, mum and also dad does end up making an appearance in the film too. Tell us a little bit about um, how the, the film came about. Uh, so I worked on this film with a writer called Jordan Daly. Uh, we had gone to film school together um, when we were in different streams. She was in the writing stream and I was in the cinematography stream at AFTERS. Um, but a, a few years later we started working on some short films together and then we'd always talked about wanting to do a feature film and what that might be like and she'd written a lot of feature scripts already. Um, but the reality was it's very hard to get money for a feature film so we needed to work on something that we knew we could achieve um, without uh, going to a very large funding body and trying to go down that path. Um, so we came up with a story idea together, um, developed it and then Jordan began to write it and then it was quite a quick turnaround actually. Um, we came up with the idea in I think June or July of 2020 and then we filmed in uh, June of 2021 and then we premiered at Sydney Film Festival of June 2022. So, um, two sold out screenings and we were one of 15 films to get a back by popular demand screening at the festival. Um, but yeah it was really only two years from conception of idea to premiere and finishing the film. So it was quite fast and it's been a whirlwind of a two years working on something for so long which I hadn't done before just doing short films and music videos those have a much um, while you can spend a lot of time working on them they're a much smaller project that has a quicker turnaround really than a film and you did it all independently we yes we worked with a production company so while Jordan and I um, we're coming up with this idea, we sort of had it in our minds that maybe we'd be able to make it ourselves, you know, what money would we be willing to put in um, to make it happen. And then we came across a production company, uh, Breathless Films, who were looking for micro-budget feature films. Um, and we uh, took it to them, they really liked the film idea and uh, brought us on board for their first slate of films. Um, uh, and so we had... Um, so they contributed some funds and Jordan and I put in some personal funds as well and um, we were working though still with just a very small budget of $40,000 and then we, we did get some completion funding from Queer Screen and we got $8,000 from them so we had a total budget of $48,000. We filmed in Erskineville um, and around the inner west. Uh, Erskineville was where our house location was. Uh, Ulysses Oliver who um, is our executive producer, he very kindly moved him and his family out of their home and uh, let us film there for three weeks which was very very generous and it was a great um, great space to be using. I mean it was very tight, it was very small and there was a lot of crew in there and I'm sure all of them would be like I'm never shooting in a terrace again but it was really great to do it and it just felt it would have felt um, wrong to set it in that kind of area and not film in a terrace. And I guess that was one of the, the reasons why you've chosen or why the writer has chosen um, to include an LGBT character Lou. Yeah, I mean, it's really sort of a testament to the area, though I think um, uh, so these characters grew up in this house and what the suburban area 
uh, would have been like when they were kids is very different to I think what it is now, you know, 30, um, 20 to 30 years later. Um, but it's sort of the world um, has changed around this suburb and now these characters really make sense in it. And Lou, our middle sibling, and the, sor the story is sort of told through her eyes. She's a young uh, queer woman who's, um, a who has, um, is struggling to accept the trauma uh, from her childhood is that it's still um, impacting her in her young adult mm -hmm. life. She's thought she's buried it and put it away, but when the father sort of reappears, it makes her realise that she hasn't quite processed what happened to her growing up. So The Longest Weekend is really a, a family drama. It's a queer family drama, but for Jordan, the writer, and I, uh, we wanted um, to tell a story that wasn't about somebody being queer. It wasn't about the struggles of being queer. It was really just um, a story about who they were as a person, um, and that was quite important to us. So it's a story of three siblings, and one of those siblings happens to be queer, and it's, um, you know, touches on uh, her relationship with her childhood best friend. They've grown up together, and they start um, hooking up, and then that best friend, Sasha, she really wants more from Lou, and Lou, because of that childhood trauma and what she witnessed growing up with her parents, just is not able to give it and then uh, possibly loses the person that deep down she really loves because of it. Now people can go and see it in Melbourne. Yes, they can. On the 17th of November, yes. as part of the Melbourne Queer Film Festival, which runs from the 11th to the 21st of November. And um, this is going to be... Australian Feature of the Year. Again, for such a small... Um, film that was made with uh, not a lot of money but a lot of love it was, it's really special to have that right and for the rest of Australia where where can people what other festivals are you going are going to line be lined uh, up for you we're in Brisbane International Film Festival we just played at Darwin International Film Festival and then next year we'll be a part of Mardi Gras Film Festival because we uh, received completion funding from Queer Screen Great, so um, all Sydney Sanders can wait for... Wait till February. Uh, if you wanted to check out this feature film, The Longest Weekend, in Melbourne on the 17th of November, make sure you go and see it at the Melbourne Queer Film Festival. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much. The Melbourne Queer Film Festival is on from the 11th to the 21st of November. And if you like queer conversation, make sure to follow us on social media at Lottle Media or check out our website, lotl.com, where you can also find 30 years of archive of lesbians on the Loose magazine. My name is Silke Bader, and thank you for your company.